is worth fifty million dollars now i guess i can officially declare myself a multimillionaire now i'm going to get a loan based on that because my house is now worth fifty million dollars because i say so and with that fifty million dollar loan like donald trump does i'm going to live high on the hog i i will fly around in private jets i will have chauffeurs take me everywhere um you know i might even buy a fancier house <laughs> with that fifty million dollar loan obviously i'm i'm uh, tongue-in-cheek here but that's literally what trump did you know, like Trump Towers, uh, his uh, apartment in Trump Tower is worth like $20 million. He claimed it was worth $400 million. He just, he just made stuff up. I mean, this is, uh, Judge en Engeron uh, said that, uh, that he engaged in a persistent fraud. His lawyers have engaged in obstructurous behavior. It was pure sophistry, what he was saying. He said it's wholly without basis in law or fact. And he said it inv invokes the time loop in the film Groundhog Day. I, it, one of the footnotes, footnote number nine, the judge actually quoted the Marx Brothers. That old line from uh, Duck Soup, I think it is, where, where he said, who are you going to believe, me or your lion eyes? <laughs> and in footnote number 10, and this is a, a lot more serious, and frankly, I don't think it's being given the, the attention or the importance that it should in the mainstream media. Donald Trump claimed that he could inf inflate the value of, for example, his apartment. He could say his, his uh, $20 million apartment was worth $400 million because, and I quote, a buyer from Saudi Arabia will pay any price I ask. Now, the judge noted that. And he said, and I think this... This is probably the decade, the understatement of the decade. He said, this statement may suggest influence buying more than savvy investing.